Welcome to another episode of the Roco Bros. I am Ed. He is Dave. And today we're reacting to High Q to the Top Part Two, Episode Eight. Uh, we gotta just gonna hop into this bitch. Uh, yeah, man. Let's just let's start this thing. Woo! <laughs> forgot about the block. I, I forgot about the block. Woo! Damn. God, God, get up. Kageyama is out it. here. Nice. A block that's not scary isn't a block. I mean, a block's a block, bro. It don't matter how you get it. I, I mean, that's block. true. That's true. But it's also like, nah, like you want, I feel like when a person is just like come out of nowhere and block when they're not supposed to do it, I feel like, it, it, you know, it's just like, it's like, nah, that it, it sets it apart than just a normal block from a nigga who, who you yeah, expect right. to. This is what I do. You're trying to overcome my block but nigga if i block you and you wasn't expecting it at that point you'll probably hurt my guy you oh are, yeah. yeah it's like bam it's like 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 getting the block from hanada like niggas eat that eat that take that l but before the end of the night is done it's like nigga you know you win or lose hey bro you got blocked by that short nigga though and it's like it don't yeah. matter how it happened it yeah happened. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you get blocked by Hinata. It's just like you just gotta go. You just gotta go up to the bench and you gotta take it. And if it happens twice, nigga, you can't even call that shit a fluke. Like, no, it's yeah, like that's just... what he's doing now. Like, <laughs> don't let it happen three times. So it's like, yeah, you could be intimidated by a block, but you know how bad your game can be thrown off by like somebody gaining a set off you or gaining some shit off you, and you felt like they were undeserving. They were undeserving, like. Like, no, nigga, you weren't supposed to get that. But they get it again? What do you do? You're mentally shook. Yeah, this nigga is intimidating and block, but it, you're trying to overcome that. A nigga just threw you off your game, you don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and it's come from unexpected places. Captain Daichi said, don't play with me. He said, don't play with me, bro. Oh, look at Kagayama intently focused. <laughs> His focus phase. Okay, All right, coach that okay, shit. Okay, that's a good way to look at it. Nice. Coach that shit. Suki said, I know what's up. Oh, don't come hey, in, Captain. You only got one more place to go from here, sucker. Hit okay. it for the captain. He, he said he needs boy. his teammates. I, I can't do it by myself. I had my moment. We getting back in. Oh, okay. Suki with a nice lob pass to the Okay. Okay. You thought you just gonna run up on Suki with that bullshit? You thought you thought you just gonna keep mm. running that shit? No, sucker. Yeah. That second level. I knew if I was gonna take a second set, nigga. I'm preparing. Oh damn! Okay. 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 Every time. I'm gonna talk that shit when I need to. Yeah. I'm up in there. Okay. You thought you just gonna walk past me with that slick ass comment last round? You told me you gonna think that I'm not scary? No, no, nigga. Don't you ever. Don't you fucking ever. <laughs> Playing right in my hands. I block when I want to. You block, you shoot how I tell you to shoot. <laughs> no. But no. Um, Suki really been out here. Suki said, we ain't playing for fun no more, nigga. We playing to whoop that ass. It's Nationals. Everybody, everybody's in it. No one ain't. Damn. 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 Immediately got that shit. Damn. Nigga, get out of here. <laughs> no! Get the fuck out! Get the fuck out! No! no. Just a slow down. <laughs> He couldn't even react to it. <laughs> Damn, they snuffed that shit wow. out. Wow. Y'all 28th <laughs> mental serve. It don't matter. <laughs> this is real life. Yeah, bro, no. Wow. 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 <laughs> they hold him, bro. They did. They, they did. I thought he, you know, I really... A part of me thought maybe they was gonna give him the point, but I'm like, nah. Bro. Who are you hitting to? If it ain't Kageyama serving it, bro, it, 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 ain't, it ain't gonna be it's cooked like a bit. <laughs> you thought you could have an epic moment, but. Damn, this actually got fucked up. 
I don't know his name. I'm not going to lie. Who? You know, she I'm not going to remember that. He ain't no, done nothing memorable. He hasn't done nothing memorable. But that's why he said. I mean, that's fair. I'm just telling you about, I'm just telling you the facts of how I feel right now. <laughs> but no, he just got to, it's done. He wasn't, I guess he was there shooting in the gym, but was he really? We ain't even know about his existence till this season. Yeah, I mean, he's been there. But, I mean, we ain't care. <laughs> Somebody might have. Who got it? Y'all out here, so okay? It's okay. came right. Look, that's how you do it, hey. sucker. That's how you. <laughs> that's how you do it, sucker. That's how you get some points on the board. Yes. Yeah, slow down. Oh yeah, you gotta, you gotta stop that. Yes. I mean, everybody. <laughs> for most part, oh, focus. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Damn. It was like, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure talking about you? Are you sure about that? Ooh. Hey. Ooh, granddaddy said yeah. 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 I forgot what it felt like to be on the edge. I need that. I need more of that. <laughs> I never had it before. Yeah, I forgot what it felt like. I'm so good. <laughs> I've just I'm been so out good. here for like 10 years. Just like I forgot what fear felt like. Mm, I'm at home here. Okay, now I'm gonna fuck you up. Now I can dig deeper. Find that next level in the ball. Wait. Oh, not just eating that, that big ass bell pepper. That's not. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Staying right. Ooh, we lined up, suckers. We all got them tiny hands. Yes. I perfected this. <laughs> you thought? Yes! You thought I've evolved, sucker? I have grown. Okay, Kino. Yes, he made the. He oh, still was. He does not go show up on the stat sheet, Come but on. he helped the team win. Come on. That's, what the, that. that's what it's about. That's what it's about. I remember you for that. I remember you for that. All right. Get it. Yeah. You are in yeah. You helped him out. I, I was like a little emotional on it. I like Both it. of them were sitting there and the he was like, you was with me shooting yes. in the chest. You was there. You <laughs> give it to no. no. You got that. No. You did that. Come on. That's a long time, man. LeBron and that motherfucker. Like, <laughs> yeah. This is my squad. These are my boys. Since the dirt, since the, the early days. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Damn. 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 You playing with your homies? That's uh, man. That's uh, that's good, bro. That's awesome. That'd be like me and you playing, bro. It's like. Uh, oh. just, uh, that would be dope. You just can't, yeah. you can't. You can't beat it. Or the, or the entire league for the most part. No. Not, like, no. That That's way. actually just. No, I don't know. Ooh, get in there. <laughs> oh, damn. No. Damn. It's like, hey. No, that's why he was treating Kageyama like that. Because that's how he used to play. Mm. Damn. Like, why y'all niggas sorry, bro? <laughs> that's just... I'm giving y'all perfect passes. Why, like, why y'all ain't scoring? What happened? What happened, bro? That nigga got to say it. Yeah. Said, 
were my sets good? Were my sets good? So yeah. So why the fuck do y'all suck? Why we ain't win? What the fuck happened? It was so it's not me. You just told me it wasn't. I at least asked. It's like so clearly it's so, all of y'all. So what happened? So 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 let me know. Damn. Damn. You useless piece of shit. Ooh. Damn. Sit your ass down and let me play. <laughs> Damn. He's my brother. You shut your mouth. Yeah, no. I mean, like, you don't have nothing you can say about that. I mean... I mean, yeah, you might have your off day. Yeah. You said, you said, fuck that nigga. We don't have no off days here. Yeah, you wrong with this piece of shit. Piece of shit. I mean, bro, damn. I mean, like that's. I mean, that's happens. part for the course. Yeah. And they got the mug bears, so all right? Yeah, they have the. Who, who got top book? <laughs> the, I'm like, yeah, you're right. They didn't show that. Mm. <laughs> oh, damn. And that smidge is the difference between greatness and just great. <laughs> I mean, that's true. Come on, Ron. Yeah. All right. Okay. Because okay. he was in that backstory. <laughs> he, he got a slight power boost. Yes. Ooh. Okay. Setting it up. Ooh, that's a... Oh, that's a tough one. If he hits... If he got under that... Damn. What? What? No. No, Kageyama. No, 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 Kageyama. That's real. Like, what? No, that's that Kageyama dumb. was shook for like. Oh. Yeah, no. How he got under that? He even had to be like, no. Damn. Mm. Damn. Damn. I mean, Nishinoya you know, had a similar little moment, like. Yeah. Uh, it's like, so that let me know these niggas. No, going they, through similar shit on both sides of the court. It's making both teams better. Yeah. They both was getting yeah. shit from this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no. Like, how that's, he got that's under incredible. there. Yeah, the stabilization. The damn near no look pass. Like, even the coach is just like, nah, he just got it. It's like, whatever. Like, <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, Kageyama. Okay, he's, he's focused. Kageyama said, nah, fam. I can't let that stand. I done did I done did too much in this game to be to be like overtaken by by that great moment. Like, no, 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 nigga. Nigga, we gotta go hard. This nigga. This I nigga was just, at the all Japan camp too. Said nah nigga. I was there too. You want it? I want it too. He think he's the greatest setter in the world? No, nigga. I gotta let him know that I'm the best setter. That ever was in this <laughs> motherfucker. It's like now, now look, Kageyama ain't the best ever yet. But as far as these nationals go, nigga, nah, this is mine. This belongs to me. This title is mine, sucker. <laughs> nah, but I mean, but but you're right though. It's like no, this nigga Kageyama. Like, anything that he sees, he's like, it gets him more locked in. We've already talked about how this man, more so than anybody else on this court, on, on Karasuno, is locked into this shit. Playing at a higher level. Watching that set happen, like, to, for like, yeah, no, to get low under that ball and then direct it to where he wanted to go in a quick in formation where he knew exactly where he, he his brother would be because he trusts him implicitly. It's, it's crazy. We didn't, we didn't get anything from that. Except Kageyama looking up like, nigga, I'm going to be the realest motherfucker out here. I'm going to be the realest motherfucker out here. And not a damn thing nobody can do about it. I'm going to shut all these motherfuckers down. I'm going to let them know that I'm the best setter on the court right now. He think he the best? I seen this nigga at Nationals. I don't give a fuck. He seen me at Nationals. He know what it is. I'm going to show all these motherfuckers what it is. Y'all put this motherfucker on the motherfucking ground. I'm going to get this motherfucker rolling. Everybody's getting crushed. Everybody's going to catch these motherfucking heads. I'm dumping all these motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're done here. But no. Nah.
Kageyama MVP of the game. Before the before it's all said and done, Kageyama's gonna be the MVP of the game. Oh yeah, no. Kageyama more so than anybody has been out here. Like and like you just you, you you understand like you understand like he understands what's going on. And like on my point, like I was saying about like the high level ninja, like they can just fight and they understand they, they understand each other through the fighting. Like you don't have to use no words no more. We just gonna throw these hands. And like I feel like that's the equivalent of what Kageyama is getting from this match. Like I feel like he's like like he's looking at what the other setter is doing and he's just like, okay. I understand, like, you are good as fuck to pull that shit off, but I can do that shit, too. I can be out here doing that same shit. It might not be the same shit that you're doing, but I can do go about it in a different way that, like, that talks about my talents and, like, what I can do. And, like, I will fuck y'all up. Like, I know how to access my team. <clears throat> you got your brother. I got Hanada. I got... I got my whole team. I got my entire squad out here. I mean, you got your squad. You got Ron and friends. I mean, yeah, y'all y'all got that connection and bond, and they got that time. See, it's like you see how long they've been together. So that synchronicity between Iran and the Mia twins or Maya twins is massive. Even though like Karasuno's like relatively new with the teams that they have, and everybody integrated. It's like nah, nigga. This is real, nigga. We've been out here grinding in the motherfucking mud. Not to say that y'all haven't, and y'all been out here for a long ass time. But individually, it's like it's Kageyama's job, really, to try and put and mesh most of these motherfuckers together as far as when he's setting, knowing their limitations and abilities and how far he can push them. But he's evolved to the at a different point where it's like it's not just about my sets. It's about also my team. I just can't set up these dope ass sets and try and push them in the right spot and they can't make it in time. No, I have the team that can that that can, you know, take the take the set the sets that I give them, but I can also have have like, you know, gone through matches where I have to accommodate myself to them and then go even further beyond that. You know what I'm saying? And, but like, I think that, but I think that that's why that like, he's so impressed by it and he wants to like move forward because it's like like at like when they when you, when they went through the backstory of the Mia twins, like it was the other brother, the white haired brother that was the one that was originally made to be the setter. And that was the one that was going around like, wait my shit wasn't good enough. Fuck you can't score for it. <laughs> and it's yeah, just like yeah, yeah. and so it's like you you see that term. That's that's where Kageyama was. But like where like he stopped here because he had a twin who could carry on like what like to get with everybody on the team to know exactly what to do. Kageyama had to find that within himself. Like this guy had a twin to be able to go off and do this. Uh, Kageyama good, have man. a like he has like he he was here. And this point, like, oh, my shit is good enough. You need to score. To being like, nah, it's not just about me. My job is to set it. Like, my job is to, to see my team, to see how I can push them, to see what they can do, what I know that they can do and what they've gone. But then also, like, being there with the team to encourage them to, like, do those things. Like, he's going to end up becoming somebody even stronger than the current setter that they're facing. It's like, it, to your point, it's like Kageyama is looking at the person that he can be or that he wants to be. And it's like, because you said, like, you like if you look at the brother with the gray hair, that's what Kageyama used to be. But if you look at the brother with the blonde hair, it's like, that's what Kageyama is or is becoming. Yes. And he's, like, being inspired by that. And, like, you know, that door's just opening more for Kageyama to really use his potential. Like you said, like, yeah, you had your brother to help push you. Kageyama, like, I'm just now realizing what somebody, having somebody next to me to push me or a team with me to push me really is. And mm -hmm. opening myself up to that. You know and I'm saying? And he's doing it fully. It's like, you know, again, these guys are raised together, but it's like, nah, nigga, when you're able to mature and grow at that rate on the court, it's a and it's a complete 180 from where you were, and you're, that means you're solely like nigga, it's whatever, guys. We here, motherfuckers. That nigga's on cloud nine. That's mm -hmm. why that nigga's balling the way that he is right now. 
It's like I'm in the zone. I know what my team's capable of. We just came off a huge ass victory. We done came off several huge ass victories. We in the Nationals. I fucking love volleyball. Fuck this shit, nigga. Set this. I'm seeing dope ass <laughs> motherfucker. When you see other niggas that are great and you're like, damn, that nigga's dope as fuck. And when you're an elite athlete, you know an elite, another elite athlete in everything that they're doing. So, like, in that play where a dude went underneath the net, only it's like not everybody in the crowd caught it because they're not elite to catch it. Usually you got that guy and that lady in the booth that's breaking down plays. You ain't see now one of them. They ain't know what the fuck really happened. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But it's like you had Kageyama shook. He was so shook by that shit, that nigga was in awe. He couldn't even really respond. Now, this is Kageyama. He been on 10 since he got on court. That's the only thing that took him out the fucking zone thus far. Because prior to, Kageyama was laying it down. You know what I'm saying? He was. He was everywhere he needed to be. So, it was that? Because, <laughs> like, if that didn't, like, things they, they, like, you... It, just seeing how Kageyama came in with the block and had the momentum, you think that Kageyama would have been able to get that. But literally, you seen he was like, holy shit, that was great. And that's not the first time he was in awe of this dude's uh, fucking uh, setting prowess on the other team. Like, I mean, that's just dope shit. Kageyama has, like, something physically that he can hold on to. To his, because he beat the other dude, the one in the uh, the white and the, the light green uniform. I beat my sensei. I beat that motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Finally came okay in that. And it's like, till then, he ain't really come across another center. No, like, no, he, he, no, he did. He did. He, he says always been the best center around. Like, or there's maybe other folks that, like, can compete with him and, and and reach his level of effectiveness, but everybody's like basically like Kageyama is a special player. But like when he got to the all Japan youth thing, it's just like nah, this man is also really fucking good too, mm -hmm. and he's just as physically gifted, just as like sound tactically as you, and like he also loved volleyball, just like you love. Like it's just like. This is like you said, like where one twin is like who he used to be. The other twin is like his present and possible future of like what he can be. And like he can also, it might not manifest itself in that same way that it did for like, you know, on that set uh, for uh, one of the Mia twins. Like it's going to manifest in this way that's like crucial for just Kageyama. And like, I can't wait to see that shit happen. Yeah, man. Past that, if you stuck around to see, uh, listen to the chat or our conversation amongst each other, you know, let us know. Put a uh, comment down in the comment section. Let us know how you uh, felt about the video, or yeah, if you liked the video, the reaction, um, how you felt about the the, the episode. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Hype moments and shit, shit like that. Let us know how you felt about Kino Shida. You know what I'm saying? The boy out here, but. <laughs> <laughs> I remember this. Yeah, day, no, man. no, that was no, that was the highlight of the shit because it was just like we was just dismissing this nigga. We really were. It was just like, man, came on, we called your number, he you just came up and just was snuffed out immediately. It's like, get this weak shit out of here. I remember that his number is seven. You know what I'm saying? Like, but that also just brings the disappointment more because then you start thinking about the, the other sevens and like that. I always think about that when I said it. So, but like, look, we ain't going. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he he contributed because like his his score is not gonna show nothing on the stat sheet. But like he is still just as much of a team like a teammate and on a team because he's been in the trenches, been there shooting in the gym, and like that's the thing about being on a team. Like you don't. Your role might not always manifest itself in the star role that, like, you know, scores two runs or gets the game winning shot or some shit like that. But your shit might just be like, you've been working with the star player enough to know that, wait, we've gone over this shit, nigga. Now you need to do this. And, like, that shit, like, changes the course of the game because it's it, it is a it's a true team sport everybody contributes to the goal to the march to nationals to the championship then that nigga pointed them out and they give him the recognition it's like no that was because of him it's like you know what i'm saying it's like he helped me to do that and it's like damn that's like that nigga was i know he wasn't expecting that 
And he know exactly what he meant. Just like Deku know, knew what all my men when he was like, you, you're next. It's like, what? What do you mean, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why me? <laughs> yeah, nigga, this is what you wanted. This is what you said you wanted. I didn't know it would be like this. <laughs> it wasn't any guidelines. I just wanted to fight niggas. I didn't know it was going to be like this, bro. <laughs> that nigga's crazy. <laughs> no, that nigga is crazy. No, I for one is crazy, bro. That nigga. Yeah. And, him, him and shit, right? But all the niggas is crazy, bro. He got to be. I mean, like... I mean, the nigga's quirk is decay. And the nigga just... The other nigga just steals everybody's quirk, so... It's broken. It is. It's broken. I mean, it really is, but... What can you do? <laughs> what can you do, my guy? Not a dead thing. Because he's like, uh, like, if All Might really was like, let's say All For One took took um, Sugar Rocky's work, right? Mm -hmm. all, from, all, all Might's dead. <laughs> like, All Might's dead. Because that work's broken. In addition to amplifications on top of each other? Yeah, no. I mean, all for one seems like definitely the one you want to have. Like, one for all kind of is just like... This takes too long. <laughs> and dude, all for one is just like, no. It's like heroes. It's like Peter Petrelli versus Siler. It's like, like Peter just like, oh, let me just... Look, that's the end of the reaction, guys. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and check out uh, some other content on the channel. Um, but past that, we'll catch you guys on the next one, man. Peace. Peace.